Bounce rate is bad. Bounce rate is affecting the metrics in your Google Analytics more than you know. Now I'm gonna show you why and then I'm gonna show you how to fix that. Now the bounce rate is, uh, hey, why are you saying that? They are not stupid, they know what a bounce rate is. How do you know that? Maybe they don't know, I just want to make it clear. Yeah, whatever, make it short. Sorry about that. Uh, we were saying a visit is counted as a bounce when the user leaves the website viewing only one page without taking any other action. So if the user doesn't click to browse another page, that is a bounce. This is the Google Analytics for one of my niche websites. And we are looking at the period between the 22nd of January and the 20th of February. 2018 and the average session duration is 1 minute 47. Now if I go to, to see the same period and I look at a different metric, so now I'm in behavior, site content, all pages, if I go to see the average time on page, I see that the average time on page for this one, for example, is 6 minutes 59 seconds. If I have a average time on page of six minutes, actually seven, how can I have a session duration which is one minute and 40 something, right? It doesn't make any sense. Would you agree? The problem is in the way Google Analytics calculates these metrics. And it does that by using the bounce rate. If the visit is a bounce, the time spent on that page is not counted, is zero. And you understand that this is very really wrong because the user might have spent a lot of time on that page because that page was helpful, because that page was exactly what he was looking for. But again, Google Analytics put a big fast zero. So if you want to know how much time visitors are spending on your pages, like exactly, then you need to kill the bounce rate. Your bounce rate has to be zero. So now I'm gonna show you in Google Analytics what is the difference in the measure of average time on page between having the default bounce rate and having the bounce rate at zero. And after that, I'm gonna share with you the script that can make your bounce rate zero. Wait, are you gonna share the script? Well, yeah, why not? Well, I want to give them something actionable. I don't want just to talk uh, theory here. Well, it's your script. You shouldn't share it. Yeah, I don't care. I'm gonna share the script. Yeah, I'll probably share it at the end of the video. So back to the analytics. This is again the example with the bounce rate set as default in January 22nd to February 20th and it's 1 minute 47 average session duration. Now the following month I put the script on the page and from the 1st of March till the 30th of March the average session duration measured by analytics is 7 minutes and 6 seconds. Look that the bounce rate here is 79% while the bounce rate here is almost zero. You, you see that? This is what we want to get. We want to get this number as close as possible to zero so that this number here makes sense. The users are the same, the behavior of the users is the same. The thing that has changed is how Google Analytics uh, measure this thing, all right? So I want to show you the average time on page uh, before, average time on page was uh, how P. Salini Tower was stabilized was 6 minutes 59 seconds. And if you go in the second period here, again, 1st of March, 30th of March, same page here, it's 22 minutes 50. 22 minutes, so it was 7 minutes, 22 minutes is the real one. And I have a page here that measures 56 minutes, all right? So this page, if you check it in the original analytics and the default analytics is here, and it has two minutes 54, two minutes against 56. Why is that? Because uh, you see that the bounce rate for this page 
in the default settings it was 95%. So it means that most of the sessions are counted at zero. And only the sessions where the people are going to another page are, are counted with time. So you understand that if the user moves to another page, probably wasn't so interested in this one. And then what happens is that all the, the most uh, engaged uh, sessions are not counted. This is really, really bad. And when you start to count uh, the people that are actually browsing that specific page and then they leave, you get that this page actually is very, very good. It's very, very engaging. And people leave it open in the browser for 56 minutes. Wow, mind blowing, right? So this page actually ranks really well on Google because of this, because Google sees that when people come from search to this page, they never leave. So they found what they were looking for, right? So I measured that here and I can create more pages that look like this. I can understand if my style of writing is good. I can understand if uh, what I put on the page is good. I can see all this from the average time on page. That's the only metric that can show you all these things. So let's jump now into explaining how you bring the bounce rate to zero. To do that, we are going to use Google Analytics events. Basically, all we have to do is to add one line of JavaScript in the page. This line of JavaScript is going to look something like this. It's a call to the tagging function plus a description of what it is that we are tracking. As the user come on the page, we need to fire this event. And then we need to keep firing this event often so that we can track that the user is still on the page. And we are doing this forever until the user closes the page. Then we're going to get in Google Analytics a bunch of events that are telling us how much people are on page. And even Google Analytics itself will start to measure properly this average time on page. So how do we make this thing fire multiple times? We just use the function set interval. So this is a very short script, again, one line that fires some message hello every three seconds, 3000 milliseconds. So just to show you how it works, I click here, one, two, three, boom. One, two, three, boom. You see, this is how it goes. So what we have to do to make it work, we have to replace this part here with the event tracker here. What we get is this. So here I'm calling G tag event. The action is time on page and event category is open. So every 10 seconds, this thing will fire starting from the moment when the page is loaded, okay? Then I want to do another thing. I will use the very same line of JavaScript to create another event because uh, one thing is measure how long the tab has been open and this will do the trick for the bounce rate zero and will allow you to see the correct average time on page. But then I also want to know how much time they're actually spending reading the page and how do I do that? Well, it's pretty easy. I can use this um, function here, document.hidden, that basically tells me as true or false if the window, the, the tab of the browser is hidden or visible. So when it is visible, this, uh, this thing here means not. So if not the document hidden, it means the document is visible, then I fire an event which says visible. I'm gonna show you now how it looks for real in the page. So this is the page. Uh, if we inspect the source, we will find this uh, JavaScript. I put it somewhere on the bottom of the page. Better would be to put it up, but so here it is. Now what happens when the page is loaded is this. Let's inspect the page. Let's stick this to the side and take this. 
go in network. I reset everything. So what you will see now is that uh, these two events are firing every 10 seconds. Here they are. And they always come in couple if I am on the page. The moment I leave the page, let's make another one. Boom. So here they are. The moment I leave the page, you see that there is only one event firing because the page is still open, but um, it's not visible, right? So you see, we have now one event, not two. Awesome. Look at this. One event, one event. And before there were two. Let's wait another one. Here it is. Now, if I go back on the page, now two events will fire, not one. You see, here they are. Now they're coming again. There you go. This is pretty easy and all you have to do is to write the code and put it in the page. Now you saw the code on video but I don't want you to type it so I'm gonna just give you the code and to get it you can go on this page here which is uh, andreabronzini.com slash bounce dash rate dash zero bounce rate zero or you can just google Andrea Bronzini bounce rate zero and you get to this page. So in this page down here you have the code. You can just copy it and paste it on your website. So this is how you bring your bounce rate to zero. It's very easy and you must do that because otherwise your numbers here, average session duration and average time on page are wrong and you don't want them wrong. So yeah, we're done. So you know the drill, like, subscribe, yada, yada, yada. I'll see you in the next one. Ciao.